Hi. In today's discussion, I'll be talking about problem solving principles by George Polya. So, from the book Special Topics in Mathematics by Siran Orian, page 13, I took the problem on time calculation. So, this is the problem, and my normal procedure is to list the given, then followed by the required, and then proceed with my solution. However, using George Polya's problem solving principles, there are four. The first one is the analysis part. The second one is the planning. The third one is the implementation. And the fourth one is reflection. Well, this will definitely help me solve the problem. So the notes were taken as well from the book of Siran Orian, Special Topics in Mathematics. So let's go with the first principle. Understand the problem. Key questions, what is the problem? What is the unknown? What are the data presented? What is the condition? Is it possible to understand the condition? Is the condition sufficient to understand the unknown? Is it sufficient, redundant, or contradictory? Hmm. Draw a figure, introduce suitable notation. All right, so I guess this is pertaining to all the given statement on the problem second devising a plan so find the connection between the data and the unknown have you seen it before do you know a related problem or a theorem that could be useful could you restate the problem if you cannot solve the proposed problem try to solve first some related problem yes this is correct sometimes i do this could you derive something useful from the data and did you use all the data? All right. So these are guide questions in devising a plan. The third principle is the implementation. Carry out the plan. Check each step and prove that it is correct. Then the last principle is the reflection. Looking back. Examine the solution obtained. Recheck the result. Reflect if the result or method can be applied for some other problem. Okay, so I'll be guided by these principles. Now let's go to the problem. So there are two brothers, Juan and Pedro, agreed to meet at a school canteen to eat together at exactly 6 p.m. So from the first sentence, I could actually start jotting down my analysis or the given. So they have a meeting at 6 p.m. So they agreed to meet for dinner or to eat together at exactly 6 p.m. All right, so this is my first analysis from the first sentence. The two brothers owing their own or owing to their having identical watches so they have same watches unknowingly took the the other's watch upon leaving home for school so they exchange watches so let's see my analysis so one is using then Pedro's watch there so maybe I can abbreviate this to PW and then Pedro therefore is using one's watch so this could be JW alright so I could use those abbreviations later on so this is my analysis for the second sentence Third sentence, one knows that his watch is advanced by 15 minutes. Okay, this is uh, an important information. So, one. So, let's use JW. That's one's watch. Is advanced by 15 
minutes. All right, that's a good information. So he decided to go to the canteen 10 minutes late. Okay, so Juan went to the canteen 10 minutes late. Juan went to the meeting 10 minutes late. This is also an important information which I could use later on. While Pedro, knowing that his watch is late by 10 minutes, so Pedro's watch is late by 10 minutes. So let's write that down. That PW, that's Pedro's watch, is late by 10 minutes. Okay, that's another useful information. While Pedro, knowing that his watch is late by 10 minutes, went to the canteen 15 minutes earlier. So meaning Pedro went to the canteen or to the meeting to the meeting by 15 minutes early. All right. What else? Oh, that's the end of the information. Now, this next sentence is a question. Now, will they see each other at exactly 6 p.m.? Who came early and by how much time? Who came late and by how much time? By how much time did the one who came earlier waited for his brother? At what time did they see each other? Okay. So, I have less down seven important information so if I have oh, this is canteen meeting let me clarify that at 6 p.m. once one is using Pedro's watch the PW Pedro is using one's watch the JW JW is advanced by 15 minutes double check that one knows that its watch is advanced. All right, that's correct. And PW is late by 10 minutes. The last sentence before the question is one decided to go to the canteen 10 minutes late. One went to the meeting 10 minutes late. So if it's 10 minutes late, so we can rewrite this as one went to the canteen meeting 10 minutes late. So that's after 6 p.m. The meeting is 6 p.m. So if he is late by 10 minutes, so he went there by 6.10. So let me... Write that down. 6, 10 p.m. He was there by 6, 10 p.m. Okay. And then Pedro went to the canteen meeting 15 minutes early. So I can rewrite this as before 6 p.m. Because 6 p.m was the meeting. So if he is 15 minutes before 6 p.m., that would be 5.45 p.m. All right, so these are my analysis. Okay, I think I'm complete with my analysis. Let's proceed to the required. Uh, let me copy the questions here. I actually listed it here. Okay. So the required questions, will they see each other at exactly 6 p.m.? Okay. Who came early and by how much time? Who came late and by how much time? By how much time did the one 
who came earlier waited for his brother at what time did they see each other so what's the real required here I think the real idea here is the real time the real time arrival of uh, these two brothers of Juan and Pedro at the canteen okay so this is the real required idea here so we could answer all these questions so I'm done with my analysis and uh, this is my planning my plan is to come up with the real-time arrival so let me proceed with my solution to do that I think it would be better if I create a table so let me insert a table here hmm. uh, one more time I need I need four four columns okay four columns all right so that I'll be talking about Juan and Pedro and this area here would be the canteen arrival so canteen arrival and then this column here would be the watches this will be the JW watch or Juan's watch this would be Pedro's watch and this would be the real time okay so I I know that from my analysis Pedro is not using his own watch so I won't be filling out this uh, cell here so maybe I could put a dark area there so I won't need to write something on it He's similar on this cell Pedro is not using his watch he's actually using his brother's watch so this one would be uh, blacking out okay a little color there alright so this will be my solution it is in the form of a table now let's see the time arrival then of one using Pedro's watch if he is late by 10 minutes is 610 so what he sees on his watch is 610 because he was there 10 minutes late according to our uh, analysis so one went to the meeting 10 minutes late so basing from his watch he sees that he is past he is 10 minutes past 6 p.m. however he is using Pedro's watch and Pedro's watch is late by 10 minutes so if this time is late by 10 minutes then therefore the real time here is actually plus another 10 minutes so that would be 620 p.m. all right so once time using Pedro's watch is 610 but it's late by 10 minutes so the real time is plus 10 and then Pedro using one's watch he was there 50 minutes early so on his watch he's wearing one's watch he thought that he is early by 15 minutes so this is what he sees on his risk 6 45 p.m. however he is wearing one's watch and one's watch is advanced by 15 minutes so the real time there therefore is ahead of another 15 minutes so that's 5 30 p.m. okay so 
Is my solution correct? Going back to the problem solving principle by George Polya, the first principle is to analyze, second is to plan, third is to implement, and fourth is to reflect. My question now, is my solution correct? Does this make sense? So let me try answering this question. First question. Will they see each other at exactly 6 p.m.? No. Pedro will arrive 5.30. He's going to wait for almost an hour. Then they'll see each other by 6.20. So will they see? No. Who came early and by how much time? So Pedro came by early. Pedro came early by 30 minutes because the meeting time is 6 p.m. Who came late and by how much? Huh. Juan, of course, came late. by 20 minutes all right next question by how much time did the one who came earlier waited for his brother oh poor brother Pedro came in 530 he waited for 50 minutes almost an hour at what time did, did they see each other well, they'll see each other when one arrives at 6.10. So this is at 6.20 p.m. Alright. So, reflect again. Does it make sense? One is late. Pedro is so early. Now, let's look again. Juan used Pedro's watch, and Pedro's watch is already late by 10 minutes. So if he came in by another 10 minutes, then the more that he is late. So it does make sense. Pedro using Juan's watch, Juan's watch is advanced by 15 minutes, and he came on a 15 minutes earlier time again so it does make sense that he's using an advanced watch and he came in early so definitely the more that he will come in early on uh, their time of meeting so it does make sense and this solution is correct so there George Polya's problem solving principles Analysis, planning, implementation, and reflection. This is the problem on time calculation. Thank you very much.